I'm, I'm the Deputy Director of Land Supplier Operations, where I co-manage with Colonel Yi Hong. We manage, um, we do supply chain management for over 400 consumable, or 400,000 consumable items um, that support land-based weapon systems. Uh, we lead an organization of over 400 uh, contracting, material planner, product specialist professionals um, here in Columbus, Ohio, and then five geographically locations, separate locations, and, and we execute over 2.3 billion in sales per year. Well, I started working at DLA, um, back then it was called DSCC Defense Construction, or DCSC Defense Construction Supply Center. We've gone, I've gone through three different name changes. But I started as a summer student. Um, I was right out of, um, or the summer before my um, senior year of high school, and I worked in the safety and health office. And I worked there uh, all, not only two summers from high school, but all four summers when I, while I was in college. Um, so I pretty much knew that this is where I wanted to work. For me, what I, what I did in terms of my career goals is I wanted to master the job that I currently was working and then kind of looked at that next level. And so when I was an inventory management specialist, I aspired to be a first line supervisor and I was thinking, wow, if I just make it as a first line supervisor, you know, I've really done, I've really done well here. And, you know, once I became a first line supervisor, you know, I started looking, I wanted to master that job as well. And, you know, once I felt comfortable in the job and felt like I had mastered everything that I needed to as a first line supervisor, then I looked at the, the branch level and um, I, did, I did take a little deviation and, and went to, uh, over to be a WISM, which is a non-supervisory, but I really knew that I aspired to be a leader and I wanted to get back in supervision and so I was able to ladder on to a branch chief position and again I still didn't see the division chief uh, position I really wanted to focus on you know the level that I was at and then when I felt comfortable and I felt like you know wow I, 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 I could probably do the division level I went for that and so you know and it just so you know so it, you know I, I kind of took a step by step and, um, and, you know, before you know it, I'm here I am, I'm a, you know, a deputy director. So, yeah, I kind of do look back and think, you know, wow, but, you know, I think the way I kind of did it and to make, making sure that I had the skills and the knowledge and the wisdom to move to that next level, I kind of took it step by step and kind of, you know, one day at a time. Any job that you do is going to bring on challenges, and so it's really how you deal with those challenges, you know, how you handle them. Um, you know, definitely you can, you can try to resolve different issues or, uh, you know, I call them opportunities um, if, on your own, but if you need to seek help, you know, seek out, seek out the help. Uh, there's always, you know, a lot of different changes or uncertainty and, uh, so you really need to make sure that you stay resilient um, because, you know, we all have setbacks, but we need to, you know, kind of quickly work through those setbacks because, again, we have a mission here um, and it's to support our, uh, America's warfighters. So, you know, whatever challenges you have, you know, like I said, you can try to work through them yourself, but you're not alone and there are people here that can help you with any challenges or opportunities that you face.